What is going on guys and girls? My name is James or Pixie and welcome back today to Slime Rancher. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Yes, of course, it is slime time and today I've got a few things that I want to check out. So the last few episodes have been pretty glass desert intensive. It's been really good. It's probably, I would say, my favourite area of the game so far. And uh, yeah, I'm super, super impressed by it. So the cool thing is now is we've started to integrate some of the new slimes into our base. Uh, we've got a few farms. I've been kind of mainly doubling up mosaic sort of hybrids um, because just the extra mosaic plots are cool. They're not the most expensive, but they look the coolest. So hey, why the heck not, right? Um, so in today's episode, what I want to do is I want to actually try and build my very first incinerator. <laughs> I've never made an incinerator before because I I don't really see what you'd put in it. You know what I mean? Oh, maybe you'd put like slimes in it if they all sort of escaped or whatever, but I wouldn't put any resources into the incinerator. But apparently, if we do have an incinerator, we can actually use it to corral our uh, fire slimes, which we don't have any in the base right now. Uh, they're one of the new ones. They're basically like puddle slimes, but sort of red and Bernie. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that should be pretty cool. So, oh, as well as that, I have been doing a little bit of farming behind the scenes here. Now, I actually uh, bought a new upgrade pack and I did it by accident. I wasn't supposed to, uh, but I got two new uh, looks. And what I want to do is we are really close to actually being able to get the next level up. So this is a slime trophy. It's 40,000 coins. But I think I'm going to sleep until morning here. And we're going to do one round of farming just so I can kind of show you what my uh, my daily slime rancher routine is like. But yeah, if we can get up to about 40, we can unlock our second trophy. And what I want to see is, I'm not 100% sure, I, I did have a list of, of what you could get in the uh, upgrades, but I've kind of forgotten. But I'm sure there's some other cool ones. I want to see if we can get um, like a dock upgrade or something like that. That would be really cool. Uh, I have been using my docks to farm as well, which is really awesome. Like, loads and loads of dervish um, plots. And also, more importantly, we're getting a load of the... Um, what are they called? Oh, yeah, the pig plots. Because we just unlocked, in the last episode, the master... Was it the master pump or the master drill? But what that tells me is that there's two other ones. We have to get the other two. So the Master Apiary and the Master other one. Uh, it goes for nine cycles instead of three. And... Oh, I, thought, I thought that was a gold slime. It made the gold slime noise. Wait. Oh, yeah, because I've got, I've got one mosaic in there. So I'm probably going to get rid of that particular mosaic out of there. Because we do have a lot of mosaic slimes sort of going at the moment. But... Um, yeah, so I want to try and unlock those. So I have been doing some pink plot farming. I also just started trying to get together some more um, boom plots because we're going to need those for the recipes. And I also started, I've only done one, but I did the first round of emptying the pumps, the drills, and the apiary in the glass desert. So we do actually have some new items, which is super, super exciting. So check this out. Um, we have... Uh, where are the new ones? Ah, here we go. So the first one is pepper jam. There we go. So this is from the apiaries, I want to say. Pepper jam is the most common resource exclusive to the glass desert. Yeah, obtained with an apiary. So that's kind of similar as like just the, the, the wild honey type thing. It's just a, a sort of common one. Uh, and then the next one here is the glass shard, which comes from the drills. So that's equivalent to like the indigonium, which we do the drilling in um, the, the mines. So we got that one as well. And then the third one, where is it? Oh yeah, Silky Sand, which is the equivalent of like a deep brine. Or is it an oil? One of the two. Anyway, we've got a few of those. We need to get some more because the new recipes, especially the Advanced Gordo Snare, relies on those bad boys in order to make it. So um, have we got anything here that we could really ranch? I don't think so. I went and got some more oak ochres, as I'm sure you just saw. And uh, I've also gone and planted some more of the silver parsnips. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me go and sell these rad plots. Let me go and grab my parsnips. Okie dokie. So um, I have done quite a few rounds. I'm going to I'm gonna actually grow some more parsnips over here. They're probably a bit more useful. Um, but there we go. So I have been doing a few rounds here on our free range dervish pink 
hybrid slime farm dock area thingamajig. Um, the slimes have thinned out a little bit. And this is the only problem with doing like a free ranch area. It's that they do actually kind of thin out over time. It's not a big deal because they're quite easy. All we need to do is just get some more dervish slimes, which there's loads of them uh, in the glass desert. And we bring them back here and everything is happy pandas. Um, but the cool thing is I have done many, many rounds of uh, plot farming here. And we have loads and loads of plots. Um, I actually like spent, I think on the last, oh, we need to go and check out the chroma packs I just unlocked as well. Completely forgot about that. But yeah, I think I spent 32,000 uh, new bucks on those and from having like nothing again i'm already back up to about 30k which is decent um i think like the cool thing about the new ones and this is what i've noticed they tend not to drop too low so for example with something like the the radiation plots uh they were up to about 66 which is pretty decent for radiation plots um but having like farmed i literally only sold about 30 and those just halved in price straight away Whereas something with the um, the dervish ones, they were up to kind of somewhere around 100. But even when they halved down in value, they're still about 50 each. So they are still pretty good. Uh, but as you can see, we are very quickly filling up our backpacks. There's also like a remote um, transfer thing. So what, what I'd ideally like to do is I need some, ro uh, I need some royal jelly from the apiaries. But what I'd like to do is in this area... I'd like to get the automatic uh, marketplace seller and the automatic um, lab up the upgrading thingamajig. We've got one of them somewhere, but what I could do then is I wouldn't have to make trips. I could just like sell all of my stuff straight away and then I could transfer the things that I wanted to um, the, the lab and then everything would be good. So I've got a ton of prickle pears here. I don't particularly need them. So eat my prickle pears. Yes, actually, no, I'm going to save a few of those. Uh, we'll give them something else, but... Here we go. So these guys eat veggies. These guys eat veggies and meat. So um, I'm gonna go with these guys. I'm gonna feed these guys some tangles. I, I want some. I want some tangle plots. Uh, and these these give me mosaics as well. So to be honest, these mosaic slimes are not that useful to us anymore because we can get them from there. But uh, it depends which we want to do really. So let me just grab these bad boys in here. And oh, I tell you what we'll do as well. I tell you what we'll do. So check this out. Uh, if we go here. Which one did we do? Oh yeah, we got the master pump. And we need boom plots in order to do that. So we do actually need to feed dervish. Uh, and it's... Oh no, we've got we've got enough in there for now anyway. We only need 10 each time. So I have been doing a little bit of uh, boom slime farming, which is good. We've got 33. So technically, we could actually install our first master pump. Now the question is, where do we want to put it? Because do we want the new resources? In which case, we can put it in the glass desert, or if we're not too bothered, we can put it somewhere else. We do have a load of things in the glass desert right now, so I'm kind of tempted to just leave those there for now. Uh, until they sort of fill up a little bit more, and then, like, when they're finished, then replace them with master pumps. And we do also... Uh, do you guys want these as well? You might as well, lads, you might as well. Hey, 33,000! Woohoo! So we only need 7k more, so how much did I do on one round there? About 4,000? Something like that. That's not too bad. Um, we still do need to empty the corrals that we just filled up. So I'm going to have some more tangle. I'm going to have more mosaic to sell. All that good stuff. Um, so I think we can get to 40k by the end of the episode. Oh yeah, chroma packs. So let's have a little look at the two new ones that we just unlocked. We unlocked salamander. Which is... Oh, it's quite nice actually. Red and pink. I like that. I like salamander and... We also unlocked Royal Ton. Did we unlock Royal Ton? I think we did. Hey, I like that as well. Should we have like a bit of an upgrade change? You know what we're going to do? Let's change all of our tech to Royal Ton. Yeah, why not, right? Ooh, I like that. That looks cool. Even stuff like behind the fences changes. Hey, I really like that. And should we change our VAC pack as well? We might as well. I mean, we might as well. Should, should we go Salamander pack or Royalty? Let's go Salamander. <laughs> let's just change the colors up a bit, eh? Why the heck not? Okay, so what I want to do now is let's go, just before we make the incinerator, I think I'm going to replace this area here with the incinerator. So we've got a few chickens and stuff that we'll get rid of. But if we go back to the glass desert, I should, in theory, have another set of these two. Oh, yeah, there we go. Boom. So this is our first new resource. And we still haven't got any of the rare stuff, which is a little bit annoying. Hey! Oh, why did I come here in a firestorm? Oh, run, 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 run. Okay, okay, second one. Give me something rare. 
Come on! Oh, you jerk! <laughs> oh well, never mind. Um, can you even get a rare resource? I assume you can. Most places have one. Okay, let me go and empty these. All right, and I brought back some tangle plots and mosaic plots from our little farm. So we are now 33, 34, 35, 36. Oh, 36. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Go, 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 go. And, oh, we're just going to miss out on it. <laughs> 38, there we go. So that's not too bad. That's like 9,000 per loop. And we can do like two loops a day pretty much. Uh, I've still got all of my radiation. No, I don't. I sold those. Anyway, so those were the um, apiaries that I placed down. So technically, those have only got one more go until they disappear, which should be good timing, hopefully. I need more dervish. So, okay, let's do the uh, pumps. Anything rare? Oh! It gave me lava dust. Oh, maybe the lava dust. Maybe it's the same rare resources as in the other ones. Ah, okay. So technically, we would still be getting lava dust, um, strange diamond, and um, royal jelly, which is fine. I thought maybe there might have been like another extra little thing, but I don't think there is. So that's good. We've emptied these. And then finally, for this new area, we have our two drills. Oh no, these are two, these are the, yeah, these are the drills. There we go. So we've got the glass shards, which are the new one for this area. Um, and I ideally want to get as many of those as possible. What I'm excited about trying out is, oh wow, look at the pink tangle. <laughs> I love that. That looks cool. I love the green thing on its head. See, that's like, if that's another option for what we could do in the sort of the ranch areas. It just so happens though that I think Dervish is... A pretty good choice. Like, I, I think it, it gives you a good amount of money, which is good. But, I mean, there's lots of different options we can use. Uh, okay, so we have these new resources. Now, oh, my mint mangoes have disappeared. Okay, uh, bear with. I grab these bad boys. I'm going to grow another mint mango. I'm going to stick the mint mangoes in here. And, uh, yeah, let's go and put our stuff in the thing. And as you can see, it's getting nighttime. So that's kind of like, I, I wanted to do this to kind of show you my my usual slime rancher day. You know what I mean? This is what I do when the cameras aren't rolling. And um, <laughs> you have to do it quite a lot in this game, like, because um, it's not so much a grind. It kind of isn't really a grindy game. It's like a farming game. But there are things that you have to kind of do uh, quite a few times in order to get it right. So uh, let me just grab these. There we go. I'm going to grab these. There we go. I'm going to grab... Oh, I've already got three in there. That's kind of rubbish. Hey, you guys eat my parsnips. Why don't you eat my parsnips? I brought you loads of parsnips in good faith. Eat my parsnips. And I just went to the docks and got a few more pink and dervish plots. Yeah, my uh, my little sort of free-range farm has thinned out quite a considerable amount. But um, we still got lots of plots, which is good. And hopefully, with these bad boys, we should hopefully be able to go all the way up to 40. Yeah, woohoo, we did it. <laughs> awesome. There we go, boom. So we can now unlock a next level. So we, we sleep until morning. And then by the time we wake up the next morning, all of our crops and plants have regrown. And we do the whole thing again. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I, I, we're not going to do that now, though. We're going to we're gonna buy this. Should we buy this? So we're up to... This is rank 18. A Dancing Mongoose 2. 3, 2, 1. Boom. Yeah. <gasps> Ultra Dash Boots. What? I didn't realize they were, like, properly new items. Oh my god, I want those so much. 47,000 to the next one. Oh, we've got 2,000. Oh! <laughs> that's, our, that's our reward. It's put a gold slime on top of our gold slime. Brilliant. I mean, what more could we ever ask for? <laughs> oh my goodness. So I didn't realize they were, like, actual cool, like, extra items. Like, a, an extra sprint dash would be amazing. That would be so cool. Okay, well, that's really, really exciting. Um, so we need to start getting saving up for that now. Um, which may take some time, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll do it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one run here around the ranch, and then I'll meet you guys back. I'm going to have to go to the glass desert, try and find some fire slime, uh, and then bring them back, and let's see if we can get some kind of uh, incinerator thing going on. I kind of just want to try it out. Mm, that sounds fun. And just like that, he nearly has 12,000 coins again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, would you get kind of a hang of like a little routine and stuff? Um, which is why I like this game. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. I've always really liked farming games, uh, like a lot. Like, if you've been on the channel for a little while, you will remember we played a game a long time ago now called Stardew Valley. Uh, we played it sort of roughly when it first sort of came out. 
uh, and I love that game. It's it's changed a lot now uh, since I last played it. Not that many people watched it, but. Uh, it was a really cool game. Like, I enjoyed playing. We played it for a long time, but it was kind of like a farming style game. Uh, really, really awesome. And you had, like, your little routines and stuff, and you went and you got this, and you went and you got that. Oh, the memories. It was good. But yeah, I find I find this, like, quite relaxing to do. Oh, man, look at all these hens. I really want all these hens. I want you. I want you. I want you. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I need to start, like, actively trying to increase the amount. Oh! Oh, it's just painted chickadoo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to start increasing. Get out of here, you jerk. Dude. Yeah, I want to start. Oh, oh, I got pro style. I got... Ow! Dude! Chill out! My goodness me. I'm going to take a rooster as well. Yeah, I want to start increasing the amount of uh, chickens and stuff I have available. Because it's always useful. Uh, we still need to do this area with the oasis. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait around... And see if I can spot some fire slime. I think maybe we might actually have to wait until it turns into like a firestorm thing. Um, I feel like that's the mechanic, but I'm not 100% sure. I could also do with bringing back some new dervish. So you know what? Let's just do everything all in one go. I'm going to collect a load of dervish. I'm going to go and collect some roostro, some painted hens. And hopefully, if I bump into some fire slimes, I'll grab those bad boys as well. And we're going to take them back to our ranch. We're going to get like a... Um, What's it called? We're going to get a little um, incinerator set up, and we're going to see if this thing is actually true. I think it is, but hey, let's find out. Aha! Here we go! Firestorm! So, yeah, we just got one. Cheeky little fire slime. Uh, ow. We're going to need more than one, though, uh, hopefully. <laughs> so let's keep our eyes peeled. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, go, 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 go. And there's two. Um, I don't know how many we should get. I wonder if they're similar to the, po uh, the puddle slimes in that you can only really have, like, not that many in at the same time. Otherwise, they get shy. I mean, to be honest, if they're spawning in these firestorms, there's probably nothing that shy about them. Uh, but we got three, so that's a good start. Just going to keep our eyes peeled. Oh, there's loads. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Six. Woohoo. Uh, oh, God. There's, there's, there's loads. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, so is there any more here? Yep. Okay, this is really... What a really cool mechanic. Like, there's a firestorm with meteors and stuff, and then it spawns special slimes. Isn't that great? I think that's brilliant. Okay, we've got eight. I wonder if they can escape the incinerator. That's the only thing I'm slightly concerned about. Uh, I think eight should do for now. I've also gone and got a few more dervish. Um, we're getting tar over here now. Can we take this chicken as well? Uh, all right. You know what? That should be good for now. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Um, and let's see if this incinerator thing works. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab a few more dervish whilst I'm here. And just dump them off at the docks. Okay, there we go. So, oh, already there's so many more plots. Uh, these guys are going to all turn into pink hybrids. They're just going to sort of nom themselves. And there we go. It's already starting. Fantastic. Um, but okay. So, final thing I want to do here today is try out this new incinerator thing. The only thing I'm terrified of is these guys escaping. <laughs> <laughs> which would kind of suck, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh man, there's loads of chickens here now. I'll tell you what, let's um, let's just feed these guys to uh, my tabby slimes, because these guys haven't had food for so long. So you know what, you guys enjoy these. You've got some hen ends, your little chickadoos, a uh, Let me clear these guys out. Got an elder one here. Uh, let me activate and demolish plot. Okay, pretty good. Stick you over there. All right, let's give this a go. So uh, we go here, incinerator. You don't need it, burn it. Okay, purchase. Wait, does it have walls? Ash trough. An ash trough allows you to collect the ash of incinerated food at its base, which is eaten exclusively by fire slimes. It's gross. Whoa. That's... Oh God, okay, this is already doesn't feel like it's going to work. Are they going to stay inside the trough? Oh, if they stay inside the trough, that's amazing. Wow, that's cool. Okay, I'm going to give this a go. Isn't that cool? Whoa. Okay, so this must have been just like a new thing for the update with the ash trough. I've never seen an incinerator before. <laughs> it's crazy. Are you kidding me? The only problem is, it's a bit of a pain to get the plots. There's no collector. Um, which means that every time you... Oh, God. Every time you do it, that's going to happen. Oh, stop bouncing. Hey, how did you get out of there? Oh, God. Is this a good idea? Don't know. I mean, I guess there's one way of finding out, which is just to leave it and see what happens. 
But hey, look at that. That is really cool. I like that a lot. So if, as long as they stay inside the ash trough, I'm happy. I mean, there's no walls or anything, but... Yeah. Pretty cool. I like that a lot. So we're going to give that a little trial run. We're going to get some fire plots from it. The problem is you don't get that much from it. I mean, they're 60 each. It's more beneficial to farm something else. But at the same time, it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. I waited a few minutes just to kind of double check this. So far, so good. There's a chicken in here. How did you get in there? I don't know. <laughs> but it, it's so far, so good. It's actually working quite well. The only annoying thing is actually getting the plots themselves. Um you kind of you dislodge the, um, the slimes but if we're just sort of gentle with it i think we could be we could oh, hey 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 you, oh god oh god okay things have gone wrong things lads um, um, um oh god uh okay let me, let me get rid of this chicken hey 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 you what are you doing get out of the puddle yep, this is this is this is this is not your habitat oh get out the duck oh <laughs> oh god what do i do puddle slime no oh goodness me why is oh. Okay, these guys are going to be a real nuisance, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, well, there we go. I just went and got 50 more uh, dervish plots before the day is done. And ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be about it for today's episode here on Slime Rancher. So pretty cool one. We uh, got the incinerator rolling, which is very, very awesome. Uh, and we basically, we got a new slime statue. And we've just seen that the next reward is for a gear upgrade, which is super awesome. I want to see what that dash ability is like. That sounds really cool. We're already up to about 15,000, so we just do a few more days like that, and boom, hopefully we should get it. So thank you once again for watching. It has been such a pleasure. Uh, yeah, before you leave, if you can put me in that like button for more Slime Rancher, that would be amazing. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Slime Rancher done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rancy up!